I think what SeaWorld's doing wrong is there's not enough fighting between the animals. Mm. You put two male beluga whales, you put two of those Shamu fucks in the same tank, and you and you show them like a little, a, like a female beluga whale, they're going to start fighting, and people are going to want to watch that. Um, people are going to want to watch that. What do you think about that, uh, Big Moist? Oh, I think it'd be great. I mean, they're already pretty... You think that'd be good? Yeah, back in like the 90s, they were pretty close to that. They'd like abuse the whales and shit during the performance. So I think just ramp it yeah. up and make it like a gladiatorial kind of fight. Here's the thing. It's not the humans abusing them anymore. It's yeah. they're abusing themselves. It's they're abusing each other. Yeah, exactly. It's like that UFC. It's like the fight we went to. It's nothing How's like that for a segue, it's baby. Nothing like the fight we went it's to. It's like oh. Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather in the boxing ring. No, the the whales would fight. The the fight we went to was pathetic. That's true. I think Logan Paul needs to get in the water with the dolphins <laughs> and then learn a little <laughs> one more. <laughs> Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. We got Moist Critical. tomato the other stuff i'm charlie slime skull welcome to the chuckle sandwich i'm joined today of course by my co-host schlatt hey man and ted hi there he goes again and not only that we have on the podcast today the moisture master the sog sage the wetness Ooh. wacko oh. moist critical <laughs> hey hey <laughs> That was adorable. I see why you wanted to you get like that, that out there. Yeah, yeah. I honestly, it was all ramping up to the wetness wacko. It's just oh, those are the two yeah. words I really wanted to say. That's and the magnum opus right there. I've oh, done wow. my piece now. <laughs> Charlie, wow, that was incredible. Yeah. I guess I, I suppose there's a bit of confusion for this episode since we've got Charlie of Moist Critical uh, online name, and then we've got Charlie of Slimesicle name. Charlie both of very, Charlie Slimesicle. Both very sort of moist. Mm. And yes. wetness being involved in both. So I think yeah. for the sake of clarity, yeah. I'm going to be calling Mr. Charlie Slimesicle um, Charles for the rest of this episode. Mm. Oh, fuck yes. off. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're going to be calling off. you Charles. All right. You're so Charles. Here's, here's the other thing. Why can't, you know, other guy, why can't I just call you Charles, right? That's hey, your legal name yeah, as you... well. God, we've hit another wall here, boys. What are we going to do? I, it, you know, we've we've broken past the Charlies, and now we're at the Charleses. What's the what's the difference? Potentially Duke Dildo. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you could just keep going with that theme. You can call me like Officer Greg, the Sage of Sex, or whatever the ones were, the Pleasure Ooh. Wizard. <laughs> the Pleasure the Wizard. Sage. I don't even think the wow. was the Pleasure Wizard said that. I don't, there was no, it was one. definitely not. That <laughs> no, was, it was, it was, it was <laughs> somewhere in there. You. I think he was like he was as Charlie was going through all the names he was like please say pleasure wizard <laughs> yeah. that's, my, that's my ultimate name. Um, no, but, listen, man, I'm a little goopier, I'm a little more viscous, uh, but that kind of brings us into the next question, right? To to kind of sort out who's who here, we gotta question. know who you really are. What are you in the sandwich? What are you adding to the sandwich? You know, I'm I'm the meat. Mm. We've had Ted. I'm the mayonnaise. He's the mayonnaise. I'm the yeah. butt pieces of bread that hold it all together. Mm hmm. Ooh. I'd be like the onions, I think. I'm assuming you guys are cultured enough to get onions on your sandwiches, right? Oh, yeah. No. Well, no, I don't if get it, onions. Okay. If it comes with, I'm not going to take them off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think but I'm, I'm not taking be onions like, go off out of if your they're way. on. It. That's, it that's like I'm taking tomatoes off. I'm taking, I'll take lettuce off. Oh, I don't lettuce, even like lettuce. Lettuce sucks. No, I fucking hate lettuce. Yeah. Lettuce no, is a no. useless, useless I'll thing. Take, it's a, it's a what's textural that shit? improvement. What's that, what's that shit they put on the McDonald's burgers that's like that little, those little like the small meat? Sesame, shits? Sesame seeds. Sesame seeds? Yeah, sesame seeds. Like on the patty, they put that? No. Wait, what no, the fuck are you talking no. about? What what's are on the patty? What's on the McDonald's patties? The they, little, the, it's not pickles. The pick, the it's pickles? not. No, no, no. I'm talking Ketchup? about on top of the patty. I gotta look this up now because I, it's it's pissing me off. I don't think this is real. Salt, I, yeah. pepper. You what? might have just eaten a rotten sandwich, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something was growing on there, and Schlatt was like, "What? What's this? I didn't order this." <laughs> McDonald's gave me a secret surprise here. What's is this? Is it onions? 
It's onions. Oh, no, the, little, the little the little onion off. bits? The, the little onion bits, yeah. No, I take those fuckers off. I don't like those. You got to do you have to excavate those yeah. out, man. You <laughs> yeah, I I'd be much? scooping them. I'm scooping them right off the patty, dude. Do you just not like that, the flavor? Or are you like a texture guy? I don't Listen, I I'm not a texture guy and I also don't like the flavor. I'm weird. I'll uh, yeah. I'll, I'll have a meal. Well, you don't have to <laughs> Charlie. I'm weird. <laughs> You, you know, I'm weird. If if I'm eating so a meal so and there's two different things in the meal, I'll eat one of them first and then the next one. Like I can't I can't eat both at the same time. I don't alternate. If there's a if there's multiple things on my plate, I'm eating one of them first and then I'll eat the rest. So Sounds you get like the burger ooh. from McDonald's. You you go at it with a with a brush and chisel until you get all the onions yeah. out. Set them aside yeah. in a cup and then just what? Well, no, Throw I don't eat. The, I don't know. I'm not eating the onions after that. No, I don't want the onions. But okay. I'm saying, if I get a burger and then fries, I'm not eating a burger while eating fries at the same They're time. They're like you know? two like completely separate. Yeah, things. I eat the entire burger first, and then the fries I, are. Uh, so are if there's ketchup with, with, with the process. fries, does that go third? Or is that like is oh, that is that okay? Down, are, down, like are condiments <laughs> fair game in this? I don't know. I don't, I don't eat the fucking ketchup packet. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, like, that goes you just with get the your fries. Tongue all the way to the bottom. Is condiments the, don't lick apply. All the way down. <laughs> that doesn't sound relish? that weird. I mean, it's a little thicker. Yeah, that sounds kind of normal though, right? Like if you get a meal, you're usually going to target one thing first before the next. It's not weird. Yeah, yeah. there's I mean, a, there's a, definitely a targeting true. system yeah. that goes on there. Charlie, you making me feel a little better about that? Moist Charlie, what's what's your order at McDonald's? I the only time I go to McDonald's is when they do those dog shit collabs. So like the BTS chicken nuggets. The I BT, only ever, like the BTS ooh. meal. It it was one of the best things I've ever had. That uh, what the super spicy ghost pepper sauce thing really fucked me up, and the oh, yeah. uh, the Cajun sauce. And that was like the whole fucking meal. I was in Times Square the other day and I saw a giant beautiful ad over the Times Square McDonald's of the BTS members. Was oh, it Jimin? Wow. I saw Jimin. I saw Jungkook. Was it Jungkook? It Jungkook's the other one, right? I saw yeah. Jungkook. Yeah. There's two, there's there's two there's, of them. It's only Jimin and Jungkook. I believe it's Jungkook, he makes all the nuggets. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He makes all the nuggets. <laughs> He's the chef. It's, got, it's in the name, they man. They got <laughs> Jungkook in, at the fryer. The, uh, the, <laughs> the terribly parasitic uh, K-pop company as part of Jungkook's contract. <laughs> Have him fly around at every <laughs> single location of McDonald's to make God, the BTS meal for a reason. He's Listen, got to make how, That's that's why McDonald's tastes the same wherever wherever you go because it's always junk. It's junk cook is the one fucking grill. He makes the burgers. That's fantastic. Yeah. But um, so recently, uh, you guys, you I suppose we could talk about something that's that's it's pretty topical right now because you guys. You, Schlatt, and Mr. Moist Charlie were both there. You guys were at the Logan Paul versus yeah. Floyd Mayweather fight. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, hey, hey, there it is. Topic. Well, I <laughs> flew into Miami. I flew into Miami for that. Um, and it, it is even worse than Austin climate-wise, man. It's horrible. Like, I can tell why, I can tell why it's all old people. Because they just marinate there. God's it's waiting hot, room. It's sticky. It is, it's God's waiting room. <laughs> He's just waiting there to to pick him up, and it's it's terrible. And the, and the arena was outside. Like I thought, okay, oh, really? it's a football stadium. Maybe they're gonna have like the little thing up, uh, like it'll be covered and may, God forbid air conditioned. But uh, no, that that was not the case at all. Um, and it was rainy too. So like wow. it was just a terrible combination. I I had a by the end of the day, I I was wearing these light beige khakis. And I just had this massive case of swamp ass, mm -hmm. and it looked like I had pissed my pants. Oh, I was no. so embarrassed. And, and I was walking out of the stadium, like, trying not to show anybody my, my swamp ass. That's the worst. And I was just running into fans left and right. They're like, hey, Schlatt, <laughs> can I get a photo? And I'm like, yeah, I guess. Just not behind me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, really, uh, really not then, comfortable. But oh, then the fight happened, though, right? Oh, yeah, that was the worst yeah, part. The fight, the oh, fight yeah. did happen. That, that <laughs> oh, was yeah. the most forgettable part of the yeah, night. It was fucking it made horrible. made the swamp ass much more fun. I mean, Charlie. to be fair, though, so you had your shit paid for, right? Cash App paid for you? Yeah, kind of. 
Kind of. Yeah, see, I'm that dumb goober who paid for the seats for me and my friends because oh. I thought it'd be fun. Oh, no. I didn't sit on floor seats. I didn't pay that much. I, bought, I got, like, the, mm. the cheaper tickets, and it was honestly the most embarrassing moment because my friends and I were in Tampa, so we just drove down. We drove yeah. four hours there for that, which was awful because I convinced them that it'd be a good idea. So that must have been I like felt, a drive back from Vegas. Yeah, I felt just like silence such in the car. Such a fucking idiot, man. Miami is my least favorite place in the country. It's, it's right barely ahead of New York, but I think Miami is the worst, worst city there is. It's horrible. What don't you like about it? Uh, everything's extremely overpriced for one. Like getting a single beer from a bar was like $21. And then oh, you, I imagine you had this problem when you were leaving that stadium, right? How long did it take you to get out? Oh, we were, si- we were standing out outside for like two hours waiting yep. for an uber it took us Ooh, until yeah. 2 a.m to finally get an uber <laughs> to come get us because they fucking funnel you out like animals to a yep. middle of the street hoping you'll just get hit by cars <laughs> and then <laughs> ubers refuse to pick you up there because it's too dangerous yeah. so if you try and u- order an uber there they decline it but they wait like 15 minutes to decline you so you have this like false hope like all right we're about to go and then they decline. So then you have to move locations constantly after each mm-hmm. decline. It's terrible. Eventually, we had to hike up to the Sonic, which I imagine you probably did. We went to the fucking yep. Sonic 2. Yep. We went to the Sonic 2. And then, we, yeah, we were waiting at the Sonic. They didn't let... We, we weren't in cars, so they wouldn't serve us, you know? Yep. Um, and then, at some point, these fucking SUVs pulled up in the parking lot of the Sonic and started blasting rap music. And then... <laughs> Like ricers started fucking doing doing donuts and shit in the Walmart par- parking lot. It was the weirdest experience of my life, dude. At least you got a fucking show out of it, man. By the time we, we got there, it was like it was like mangled <laughs> corpses and overdoses at the Sonic. Like we didn't get anything. Oh like the oh Ubers still wouldn't pick us up right away at Sonic. We had to actually call him and like beg him to go to Sonic to pick us up because yes. nobody picks up anyone at the stadium. Apparently, it's baffling. Mm-hmm. How awful Miami is in every measurable category. It sucks. It's fucking terrible. I, I suppose that sort of leads me to the question then, um, Charlie, of moistness. Um, why Florida? Why so I, Florida? I'm, no state tax. Yeah, I'm born here. The no state tax <laughs> thing is cool, which you never really appreciate as a child because, I mean, what are you paying taxes on, right? But as an adult, no. it's, it's just a nice little perk. But I'm a huge fan of the weather. I know the humidity, oh, yeah. like like poor really? Jay Schlatt's ass couldn't handle it. He got real sore. I couldn't handle it. I could not handle it. And I'm I moved to Austin, so like this is it's kind of like is it a dry regular heat, though, here too, or is it a like because there's a big difference. It's like I a sod. Like. It's wet. Yeah, it's a sodden heat. Like the humidity it's here is wet. no yeah. joke. Yeah, <laughs> it takes like some chiseled cheeks to not get swampy down here. Like you have to be born in it. And but yeah. I like that because I don't like cold weather and I never have to worry about that. Everything's right. close. Where I live is like really cheap for property. So I don't know. It just all really fits me. It's not yeah. like I'm going outside often or anything anyway. So do you, are you not much of a sweater then? Do you, do you think that your body has become adjusted to the, to the heat? So you just don't, you're just sort of like a. I barely sweat. Yeah. I, wow. I very rarely sweat. The only time <sighs> I so sweat is around other people. Like I had to get physical therapy for my back once. And I wear basketball shorts and I was getting so much swamp ass and my balls were getting real musky. So every time I do like their squats and sit-ups, I was like blasting them with Methodist. But other than that, I just don't get I just don't get sweaty. It's only around yeah. people from Something nerves. Something about the East Coast I struggle with a lot whenever I go out there. Like when I was out I was out there, I was on the East Coast as well, but I was out there for a wedding and I had to wear a suit. I was in Pennsylvania and mm. it was like 90 oh, degree yeah. weather yeah and it it's was been rough and the thing in the is about, recently yeah and the, th- and the thing is about in the northeast when it turns to summer it, it's a very very dry winter but then when the summer comes it's it feels like it's fucking florida it's it's so Everyone's humid man is it was yeah. so humid that at the wedding i fucking sweat through my suit jacket which is it's got sweat guards and everything so that's uh a testament to the to to the heat you really it's love a sweat you. guard. Wait, it's like a, a sweat it's, guard? It, within the the jacket of the suit. There's like a little. It's like a sponge, right? They, um, I think it's just supposed to be something that's like harder for like the liquid hmm. to get through or something like that. But um, it didn't work. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, sweat. We love it. 
right? Yeah, fuck yeah. That's why you moved to L.A., Ted, because I, it's dude, beautiful I'm, weather every day. Schlatt, I know you like to shit on L.A., but the moment I got here, I had let out like a sigh of relief because because it's just so... <sighs> and, yeah. then you, and then you went... Yeah, I went... And all the smog went into <laughs> your lungs, went through, and then you started, my fucking, body. you started getting emphysema and everything. You fucking are going to have COPD by the time you're 30, dude. I felt it in all my veins, but it's so yeah. dry here that it's like I can wear pants and a T-shirt... Yeah. And it can be 85 degrees out, and I'm 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 chilling. Except though, yeah, I will give one thing to you, Schlatt. When I got back and I looked at my car after two weeks of just like sitting in one place in L.A. Oh, it was disgusting. It was like, uh, yeah, it's it was cakes. a film. There's there like a film. film on it. It's it's yeah. like my finger is covered in this deep soot of just th just the industry in the area. It's insane. How do you um, like the traffic in L.A.? The traffic in LA is manageable if you know when not to drive. I'd say oh, that. Oh, that's that's spoken our, like denial right there. That's fucking <laughs> wrong. That place well, in, sucks. Our, in our line of work, I mean, you can choose whenever you want to go anywhere. You know, so that's you don't true. really need it. But like, if I was someone who had to go to an office and I had to commute home every day, fuck that. Like, if I was going mm -hmm. from yeah. like Santa Monica up to like Glendale or something like that, it'd be like two hours. It would be miserable. Um, but I don't have to deal with it as much. A lot um, of people in busy cities as well realize that when this whole pandemic thing started as well and they could work online, right? They'd like actually log in at, I don't know, fucking 930 instead of waking up at six, look outside and be like, why, why do I do this to myself? And so <laughs> now a bunch of people are like moving away that can, that can get away with that. Cause right. that mm -hmm. shit is just, yeah. I was going to say, the two main spots, if you can leave, is L.A. and New York. Those two places fucking suck, I think. Do we have yeah. any yeah. any New York fans here? I'm a New Yorker. I fucking grew up there. I, I yeah, no, it sucks. It sucks. I, <laughs> I moved in February away hey, congrats, to Austin. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I've saved a lot of money on taxes. Um, obviously, I miss my family and all that. But other than that, the city has nothing to fucking offer me. Like, there's no one there that does the job. There's, like, you just get really bored of New York City after you live there every day of your life. Right. You just, it's, not, it's not an event anymore. It's just something you have to fucking do. Yeah, it's a chore. Um, yeah. I was in New York And there's York no City. bats. There's no bats. You can go to Austin. Every day there's bats. What you, are ever, you, you ever watch? You, you ever bats? watch the like, bats? Like, like, the, like the animal like bats? Bats in yes. general, the animal, like the ones just that flying can, like, throw around, throw a shoe in the air, and then it'll, they'll dive bomb it. Have we got ever, bats. Have That's you ever done that? Have you ever? You, ever you seen can go to you can go to downtown Austin at the bridge uh, that crosses the Colorado River and watch the bats. Shalad, if you ever at, see bats at, around here, when that? it gets when it starts to get dark. They'll all, that's when they all come out. Millions and millions of bats. Why do you keep saying it like that? Why is he, he's saying it like it's like, this is what he lives for. And it sounds like something I'd hear out of Gotham. This is why I moved. The it's the low taxes, the fact that there's a lot of people around, and the fact that there's a lot of fucking bats around. Have you, you ever... You just drive down there and, the, and they see the bats, man. Are there bats around where you, where you live? No. Oh. No, I, I go down. Bummer. I go down to see the bats. When I was a kid. But there's not a lot of traffic. And like you said, Ted, I mean, you can really go whenever. I'm doing a lot of my driving in, at like midnight. <laughs> Have you, when I was a kid, uh, there, in Massachusetts, there would be bats. And you could just kind of see them very slightly at like twilight. Bats. And what we would do as a, uh, when we were kids was we would like throw a shoe or something in the air. And the bats would dive bomb the shoe. Hmm. For some fucking reason, I think they thought it was like a, 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 a very big bug or something, maybe something to munch on. <laughs> but they yeah. love dive bomb and shit. So that's, I mean, if you're ever in this, if you're ever in Austin, just throw my shoe, throw <laughs> your <laughs> shoe yeah. in the air yeah. and just watch hundreds of bats dive bomb it at the same time. Maybe that would be something. You it is do. a little dangerous though, because that bridge is also where a lot of the homeless people gather. So, oh, so they they've kind of formed a they've man. kind of formed a, a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. It's the bats and then the homeless people. They all come out at night. Wow. Do their do their scavenging. <laughs> um. So <laughs> throw a shoe up. Anyone could grab it. Um, <laughs> do you guys? Do you guys have? So right now, you you mentioned bats, and I pictured them flying around, and I realized that right now is also the same time that all of the. Uh, 
like on the east coast at least in in virginia like now all the cicadas are out mm, yeah, this, yeah is that is that that is that in florida like do you have that problem no, no we used to i in the apartment i used to live we used to get like toad mating season but i never cicadas i've never really oh, heard oh, toads yeah. Have you ever seen two toads fucking? Yeah, there used to be a regular who'd use my windowsill as like the shagging wagon, man. That guy. Oh, that was his pen. Yeah, he'd be bringing <laughs> them back. Nice, he'd be man. fucking slamming ham all night in that windowsill. Hope he's doing well That's for it. himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure he's fine now. We get those <laughs> fireflies. Well. Here there are bugs that fuck each other whilst flying. And it's really oh, strange like because you're like, what is that? Is that, a, is that two bugs fucking each other? And it is. It's really funny. And Most romantic. Of the time. It's like dragonflies you're talking about, right, Shalai? It's yeah, like, they like, so. stra- like yeah, they just fully strap on to each yeah, other and form yeah, like, yeah. It's on like one big they're fuck bug. each other. I'd say yeah. they're part of the uh what is that, the Mile High Club? Or like <laughs> good one, Ted. <laughs> For the <flying>. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, because they're yeah, because they're I mean they're up nice and, one. Yeah, yeah, I pre- hey, I appreciated and, that. Yeah. That was good. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, no, that was good. Um How does it feel to be a fucking idiot? What? What is wrong with you? Anyways, uh, I'm just angry. I'm just angry, you man. Seem, you this came into this podcast with was... a little bit of a vengeance, a little bit, dude. I'm taking my anger out. You I need, in, I need, you, I need yeah. an outlet. Okay. You came in yesterday. Talking about you wanted I to had the, the worst day of, of my life. Oh right, yeah. Sea World, Sea World. What do you think of Orlando? I said this before at the beginning of the podcast hey, during hey, that hey, musical hey, intro. Hey, you, hey. you remember the musical That's intro that we do on this yeah, fucking podcast? Yeah, you, know, you, said, you, you, you said your Shamu and you started just punching at me. You started just like what, punching yeah. the camera. I heard what you had to say about, about Orlando Schlapp, but I want to hear, hear the Moist Man's opinions oh, on Orlando. Yeah, yeah I mean, Love that place, it, hate it? Uh, it kind of sucks, right? I mean, it's, uh, it's very busy. It's cool to visit, right? Like, it's only an hour away, so I can drive there. I could go i would never go to sea world that sounds fucking miserable i don't know why you'd do that but you, you what could. if the animals were Terrible fighting place. no i see like that's different like they're not but if they that have like a pantheon things. of of orca <laughs> whales going at it like it's super different like that's kind of crazy but you mean you know. a pod yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. A, a pantheon. yeah it's probably not a rumble I'm no zoologist. I don't know the nomenclature you know but <laughs> it'd be it'd be cool if they were fighting i suppose but yeah, I mean, Orlando sucks to live. I lived there when I was younger for like a couple years. You just can't oh, yeah. go anywhere. It's like L.A., but a little less awful. Like that sort of feeling of being stuck there? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel Is stuck Is there a like way out of LA? Florida? Yeah, well, I've only been to L.A. once. And uh, what really stuck out to me is just how you'd have to plan your day around a small trip. So if I wanted to go from my hotel where I was staying to where... I oh. was actually trying to go to the office. It's about eight miles. That's a right. forty-five minute drive in LA. Right. And I'd never experienced something like that. Like that was that's, crazy. That's so interesting you say that because I I I felt that way. Except I felt that way about New York in the sense of being trapped. Because when you live in New York, you can't own like a car. But what yeah. I liked about LA was that if I wanted to like go drive an hour and then suddenly you're in like big bear and it's snowing you can do that if you want and then you can come back to the city i don't know actually how far big bear is from la but um that was generally how i fucking viewed it but i'm I'm, i can definitely see that because it's like about the you can't go very far very quickly in la i'm sort of starting to realize that um, New York is worse, though. I definitely agree. New York is not... Yeah. All, it has all of the downsides of uh, downsides of L.A., but they also shoot their sewage into the sky every night, which is miserable. It just smells like absolute dog shit. Do they? Oh, I didn't know that. That's fun. What does that mean? They shoot their... They have a... They, I, they literally have, like, a chimney, like a giant orange chimney they stick on their sewers and empty it into the sky. You live there and you've New never York? seen that? Yeah. It's probably good for the bats. That's what that is? Yeah. They are, they are draining <laughs> toxic fumes from the sewage... <laughs> Into the fucking city. That's why it always smells I so bad. I absolutely know what you're talking about. I had, I just figured that was just like vapor or so something. So it's flat. It's walked like outside in the morning. <laughs> Shit. They're so, burning sewage. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. It so when Flat walked out. outside wow. in the morning when he was a kid and he went, he's breathing <laughs> mm. in fucking sewage, not just smog. I was breathing in sewage. He's breathing in <laughs> well, poop I mean, and hey, pee. New York City smells entirely like poop and pee, anyways. Yeah. That's true. You can't there's get away a, from that scent. There's a bit it's of a it's poop everywhere, and pee man. Smell. Breaking news! Breaking news! 
This important PSA is brought to you by Manscaped.com. This is your pubic service announcement and the news you've all been waiting for. Manscaped has created the Lawn Mower 4.0 Trimmer which is now available for purchase in the United States and Canada. This new trimmer was just released only moments ago. And we are are, are the first to get our hands on this this and share the news with you guys. So, man, that's amazing. More like man, scaped. Oh. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code CHUCKLE at manscaped.com. Their advanced ceramic blade and skin safe technology is so good that it almost seems as if Manscaped worked with Elon Musk's engineers to ensure that your testicles are as safe as possible. Ted, you ever been shaving down there and you give your nuts a little nick? Oh, you know it, Schlatt. Well, lucky for you, I'm about to list a whole bunch of features that have nothing to do with that story. Okay. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a multifunction on and off switch and a travel lock, so it won't turn on while Okay, food time. So it won't turn on while you're traveling. It's also got an LED on the front, so you can shave whenever, wherever, also in the shower because it's waterproof. Oh, I just cut my balls. If only there was, if only this new trimmer allowed more customizations for additional guard lengths with sizes one through four. Wow, if only that. What's that? Well, lucky for you, well, lucky, hey. Help, I need, I need, my balls are pulp. Ew, (laughs) that's, wow, that's disgusting. You can go to manscaped.com and use code CHUCKLE to get 20% off and free Shipping, boys. Treat your balls right. Treat your balls right. Get the lawnmower 4.0. Chuckle sandwich endorsed. Chuckle sandwich endorsed. And I do genuinely use Manscaped products. I do, too. I do, too. I use the lawnmower. I also do. Yeah. I've been using the nose hair trimmer. Just get all in there. It is good. Oh, my balls! For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers let me tell you i tried to i tried to do a little bit of spanish me gusta in, las um, pantalones de tu mama <laughs> donde i tried to do a little bit of spanish in in high school and let me tell you i barely know a lick of it these days porque me gusta el perro but now thanks to Babbel, the number one selling language learning app there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language biblioteca whether you'll be traveling abroad connecting in a deeper way with familia, or you just got <laughs> Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Come, come! <laughs> Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. They design their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind. For instance, when I was flying from New York to L.A., I tried out some of Babbel's Spanish lessons, and they were, they were pretty easy. They were well put together. They also design their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind. This is especially important because learning just vocabulary is not going to help you out. This stuff is things you'll be able to use in everyday life. Other language learning apps use AI in their in their courses. What AI? Boo. AI? You want to learn from a, a from robot? What is this? Elon we Musk? We don't want it. No. Get it out of here. But Babbel lessons were created by over 100. 100 what? Language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. All right, ladies and germs? With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italiano, and German. (laughs) (laughs) Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. You're not going to be me. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free when you use code CHUCKLE at checkout. That's six months for the price of three. What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to Babbel.com, and I'm using promo code CHUCKLE. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code CHUCKLE. And what do I get? Three extra months for you, baby. Oh, yeah, I Babel, do. I'm going to babble about Language this. Language for life. So, Mr. Mr. Moist, I've been, I have been aware of you online for a very long time. 
ever since the the times of old you i mean as far as i know i mean is your you, youtube channel name still penguins mm -hmm. penguins z0 i believe it's some long lines of that yep um you used to do just really really obscure random games online and then you would do your like commentary over that yeah um what like made you kind of switch into just doing the straight commentary to to the camera as like one of your main forms of content i just got boring doing the same shit every time right like i mean if i did that for what 10 years almost yeah exclusively just playing like the same shitty games like oh i'd go on itch.io and here's a game where one guy made it it's all about eating a hot dog right Right. And then I'd play those games and do those videos for 10 years, and it just, it just becomes not as fun. So I right. always try to mix up content and do different things. Like you mentioned deep dive earlier. Like I'm always trying to mm -hmm. do different kinds of content, and I just think that keeps it fresh and fun. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the one right now or the series or whatever you've got going on that you're enjoying the most? Slapping. I fucking love slapping. <laughs> that, I, slapping I see those pop up dude. every once in a while. It's so and good. I always click on them too because they they never they always just get bigger, right? The slaps don't get smaller. <laughs> the, every 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 time the hand and the thumbnail is a little bit bigger. This guy took out the last champion. Let's find out how. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's the it slap is, demon it's great. returns. It's great. It's so fucking good. Those guys are like real life superheroes, like cartoon characters, man. Vasily Kamatsky's got the iron palm. Zalesh has got some crazy durability. Like in his last fight, looked like he got hit by fifteen <laughs> garbage trucks in his face. Like it's so good. This it's is the so these good. are the fights you should have gone to, is what it sounds like. Yeah, I oh absolutely. My God, dude. Where does Holy that, shit! Where does I would have paid. I would have paid for myself for the ticket to Miami and the fight itself to see a slapping contest same, between the two of them. Same man. Where did these? So I, good. Dude, where do these contests normally happen? It's like in Austria or something like that. Mm. There's two circuits. There's a U.S. based one called Slap Fight Championship. They're in Missouri, and then Punchdown is in Poland. That's the one that has like Poland. Vasily Kamatsky and Zalesh, wow. like the actual right. like monster men. Would you fly to Poland? I'm terrified of flying, but if it's a good match, like if it's Vasily Kamatsky and Zalesh versus like Ooh. Darius and Wolverine, like it'd be hard to keep me off the plane. If the palms are wide <laughs> enough. Yeah. That's excellent. How did you stumble upon that? I mean, like, I don't even know how, because I found out about it through you. I imagine a lot of other people did as well. I found it during a stream. So I do, I mean, it's not it, revolutionary content, right? Like you do a night where you just watch some YouTube videos and joke with sure, the chat sure. at them. And I, at the time I was typing general terms and going to upload date to find like some real wacky goofballs. And I just looked up like slapping match. And then I found that very first one, Vasily Kamatsky, just a nubile youth at the time, never even slapped a man. Dude steps up to the table and he's delivering some fucking justice, man. He knocked the guy out twice. They bre like he knocked him out once and they stood him up just to knock him out again. And I was like, this is it. This is the sport for wow. me. Wow. So, and, and if you can knock someone out with this, do you think it's easier to knock someone out with a slap than a punch? Because, yeah, yeah you think mm -hmm. so? Really? Yeah. Well, is, oh, it yeah. It like, is it because it like rattles you? Is that like, and it's like more surface kind of, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, did any of that make sense at all? Do you kind of see where no, I'm No, I imagine you have a sports science background that sounded so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah I no, mean, it's good. Zoology and that. I've sort of double yeah, majored. a kinesiologist. Yeah, I definitely think so. Like in slapping, you can't defend yourself. Like you're not allowed to flinch. You can't move with the force. You have to just take it all. So that just shakes your whole head. Whereas in punching, it's usually like straight shots. You don't see anyone throwing like these like awful things you see in women's self-defense courses where you're coming out here like this, you know? So when you're yeah. slapping, you're like right on the temple, right on the cheek, man. Hmm. And you got to, I think part of it too is you got to just take it. Right? Yeah. That is a really interesting aspect that's different from a lot of sports where instead of it being like a slap match where they're like in a ring, it's like yeah. you guys are going to stand right up in front of each other, chalk up your hands, and take turns until yeah. one goes down. Yeah. I that like, and it's sort of a different, it's sort of a different approach too on the, on the safety precautions and the logistics of sports where they don't. They yeah. do, and they just go and they just go at it, right? Uh, safety you know? isn't. Yeah, it's an option. You know, we don't we don't require it in slapping. <laughs> it Poland is, does not it have is. the, the right regulations. D, none of the I'm above. Guessing. Bam. Yeah. You is know? there like certain rules that like 
you can't violate in terms of like standing because I was I think I was watching one of those slap videos um, like the stream highlight thing you did and I was watching one of the guys and he when he was doing a slap it looked like he was kind of leaning forward really aggressively is that like a violation because I feel like there's something going on there where if, there's different ways you can kind of rotate the body but is there like yeah. what are the rules there so there's like three main rules that I know of that are really going to affect it. So the only thing, like the main thing you can't do is flinch. If you flinch, it's an immediate penalty. You oh. also, when it comes to slapping, you can't like, I don't know how to explain it. You can't club. So you can't like come in there with like an open hand punch. It has to be like a full form slap. Like it has to eventually end in a slap. And then the other thing is you can't hit temple. It has to be on cheek and you try and avoid ear. Oh, Those are really the only three rules. Everything else, you can do some, like, fucking forbidden jutsus. Like, there's a guy who does, like, a sprinkler <laughs> technique. Everything else is fair game. <laughs> wow. yeah, where really where, does, the, where does the perfect slab come from? Like, where do I want to come in, say? Yeah, if I was your coach, here. I would be telling you, aim for, like, the top and you part are. of this hand right here. This is where you want to okay, be. Okay, so I want, like, golden. a little bit of a pocket there. Yeah. Yeah, and what is and what is it, like, what is the perfect slap Charlie's, sound Charlie's like? Charlie's, like, looking to start getting into this. He's, <laughs> I, got, I got my guy, I got this Charlie, thing. I got what's sticky going notes on, here dude? I'm putting around. I Charlie's love this gonna shit. list, and he's gonna go down it. kind of hot here. Slap by slap. I'm going low, am I going high? It's, it's so good, man, like. So the two companies I named, like, I'm trying to get them together so we could do, like, slapping on Twitch. Like, take these fucking monsters and have them Ooh. slap each other on Twitch, like, every, you know, <laughs> once every Friday of a month or something. I think yeah. that'd be great. It's so fun. Like, there's so much that goes into it, but it's always just about raw power. Like, no matter how you spin it, unlike other sports where you can sometimes outthink your opponent, in slapping, it's all about who's the bigger fucking man here. And I think that's fantastic. <laughs> it's just pure barbaric yep. power and rage. It's right. Would we be us back able to, to do that? Yeah, I was thinking we about be the able TOS to do that on Twitch? implications of that. I tried to talk to Twitch about it. And they, I mean, the guy said he likes the idea, but the Trust and Safety Council, Don't Weenie we Hut Jr., probably uh, might have an issue. Yeah, yeah, Weenie Hut. They might. Uh, they might get a little. You could do it in a in like a Pinky hot tub. In pants. <laughs> you could do it in a hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> just, just be fine. Slap underwater Ooh. contest. Yeah. Just to slow it down a little bit. Um. So, one of the things that uh, I see on your channel is uh, dildos. Dildos yeah. seem to be a theme. Oh, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ! I'd like to know about the dildos because they're mm. sort of we know, a. Uh, we know. I'd like to, I'd like to know about them. Tell me about the dildos. Moby. Yeah, so Adam and Eve uh, was a sponsor of mine. They reached out one time because I had bought an alien vagina at a place called Todd, and I was like, "Well, how strong mm. can this be?" Right. So I started breaking okay. things with it for a video. Right. And they reached out and they're like, "Hey, do you want to do some of that with our shit?" And I was like, "Yeah, for sure." So they sent me sure. just a big box of toys, and I was like, "Fuck," you know. And now it's gotten to the point where I've got some Moby huges, which my dad turned into mm. a car. Uh, the Moby image, Huges? Yeah, they're three three feet, <laughs> oh. seventy pounds a penis. It's really, I'm surprised <laughs> you don't have one to be honest, Slat. Like they're they're a good collector. Well, item. listen, listen. I'm a, I'm in the middle of moving. I gotta find a house, and then I have to look. It's it's entirely like barren. Yeah, I, right. Yeah. I have nothing yet. I have nothing yet. Once I get into a house that I'm going to be in for a very long time, that's when. That's when we can start. Yeah, decorating. you could really that, frame yourself nicely in there yeah. with four to six three foot dildos. I, think, <laughs> I would like you, a Moby huge. I gotta say, I would I would enjoy a Moby huge. Oh, Perhaps yeah. a cornucopia I, I can set you of dildos. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I would enjoy being set up with one. Very uh, great. Question: mm. Have you you haven't used? No. I've never even tried a flashlight. Really? Yeah. I usually How just would use them. So use the Moby huge. So, like, for the Moby Huge, like, my dad turned one into a car, which was a big thing. Another thing we do with it is, like, kind of the Olympics. So, Devin Larratt, he's the world arm wrestling champ. He came over to, like, train with the Moby Huge. And then sometimes mm. we took it to a gun range, actually, recently and shot it with shotgun. And it actually mm. took it. You, it didn't destroy the Moby Huge. It's that thick. He shot it with wow. slugs, yep. shot it with a buckshot, uh, nothing. Couldn't penetrate. Wow. Pretty girthy, huh? Mm-hmm. 
So Do you think a human has tried the Moby Huge? I keep getting like all kinds of false reports from people in my chat. They're like, Charlie, check out this video. She used the Moby Huge and I'll click on it. It's not the Moby Huge. It's like the Great American Challenge. No. No. So it's That's not like what you what yeah. you jack off with a gun. It's not a it's not a sex toy. It's a fucking weapon. Yeah. You, you know would, what I mean? You would die if you tried <laughs> to genuinely use the Moby Huge. You would die. A weapon of ass destruction. Yeah. Absolutely. It would yep. split it you in up, half. That video would end up among the ranks of like two live, girls. It would one be on live leak. The fucking, is the fucking it one man, one jar. One, one man, one, one jar. Yeah. <laughs> the classic. Be along the lines of one man, one jar. Yeah. No. There, there would be blood. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's three, it's three it feet be. tall. It's like it's anything that big. You know. <laughs> Um, why? Yeah, so that's why, fucking that's awesome. That's such an interesting name to put it, though. Moby Huge. Like, they didn't even... Oh, I get it. Who's Moby? Why didn't they just call it... Yeah. Yeah. Moby... Did, oh, I get it. Moby... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. It's for the thinking man. Yeah, I was like... Yeah. I was like, why didn't they just call it Moby... Oh, yeah, no, that would be... Yeah. Right, it's, it's, it's almost like implicitly it already... It's, yeah. I, mm. <laughs> they're not dumb over there. They know what they're doing. No, yeah, they do. They do. God. All right. Checkmate, or or this one goes to you, Adam Eve. Is it from Adam Eve? The Moby Huge isn't. That actually comes from a place called Mastercock. <laughs> yeah, of right. course it does. I've heard of it. Of course them. it comes <laughs> from Mastercock. I mean, why one in it? It's the, yeah. What other models does Mastercock produce? They have, well, they've got some what, real wacky products. They have a, oh. uh, what is it? Do indulge. They have like a big vertical dick. So it's kind of like a half pipe for skateboarding. It comes like, like this, and it gets up to oh. like 2.5 feet. So it's like a junior model, like if you're training. Then they have Moby Huge <laughs> in different training. colors. For they have what? <laughs> glossy with no veins. Like they have a lot. Glossy with no veins. Yeah, it's Sorry, like what's Robo this? That's not fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, that's like the fucking Terminator from T2. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. <laughs> that's the Terminator thing. It, it's not real unless it has the veins. This is this is heresy. Exactly. I'd never um, buy I would one be of those. I would be more scared if instead of like that cuz that lick I remember the Terminator I like I accidentally saw a scene from it when I was a kid like the liquid one where he like turns his oh, yeah. hand mm. into a into a I knife. Have I have him. I have him. I have him. You have him? Oh, oh my god, he's, baby. Just, he's right there! Okay. I have him. There Wait, he is. What? It's T-1000. Yeah, and he turns his hand into a Action blade. figure. Except that, yeah. Terminator except, uh, action figure with interchangeable heads and hands. Yep, except the master guns. cock version. He's got guns, fully, too. Fully he's got creates guns. a two-foot-long vertical dick <laughs> uh, on his forearm. Yeah, I these don't know are, when these this was produced. Horrifying. Wow. I don't know when this was produced, but uh, it's just fantastic. William Osmond. This was sitting. It, 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 we thrifted why, this. Why do you have we that? We saw this sitting at a thrift store, and we just picked it up, and it's in perfect quality. It looks good. The movie came out in '82. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, William Osmond has a oh. uh, action figure of George W. Bush as like a as oh. a fighter jet pilot. Wow. I hmm. think. I think that there was like something they re they released in like 2001 or something. Some sort of patriotic sort of like we're going to Iraq kind of thing. And and here's a fun <laughs> way to. Here's a fun way to loop it all together. I remember, like, back in, I don't know if it was 2014 or something, there was that, you guys remember the head of state, that one, where it was Obama's no. face on the on the big dildo? You ever see that one? No, no I, I haven't. I don't think I've ever here, seen that. Here, let's just hop in the collecting. chat here. Oh, well, this is, this is going to be an exciting poll for you here. Let's put this right in uh, in the general chat so everyone can see this. There he is. Wow. You've never, you never seen that one before. Wow, that is something special uh, there. Just, just for you audio listeners, um, which we, mm. Ted, what do we, and what do we do with the audio listeners? Uh, well? Audio listeners love you to death. There yeah. is a Obama cock being shown. So it's got, there's two big nuts connected to a shaft that kind of, at the tip of it, it, it becomes a suit. And at the top of the suit, there's the face of the Barack. Veins are so, the veins H. Obama. are so powerful and complicated that they yeah. manage to be contorted to represent the lining of a very nicely tailored suit. There he mm. is, Bakak Obama. Scott <laughs> 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 Um So, Charlie, you run a, uh, a series on your channel called uh, Moist Meter. How long have you no, been I... running that for? 
about five years. We started with For that abomination, years. Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, is okay. that where it started? I didn't even mm-hmm. realize. That's when it started. That game was so bad. We started a review series just to make it a low score. That was the last time that 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 Mass Effect had a, uh, a game, right? Yep. Well, they have the legendary. They re- they now. remastered, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah I yeah. wanted to play it. But. Um, what's like the highest score that something's gotten on Moist Meter? There's been a few 95s. For, so like a Parasite for movies has a 95. I thought that movie mm. slapped. Yeah. That movie. That was movie a was banger. really good. Yeah. That was really good. Uh, I saw that you. I saw that you'd given Invincible a very very high score. Invincible is another like, one. Yeah. Was that was that like 90 or 93 or something like that? I I think I gave that a 95 as well. I think that's a must watch. Like I think that show is so good. I agree. I I I have this in my notes. I just put put in like Invincible dash. Love it? Question mark. <laughs> Hold on, don't it's spoil it. Show. I've started. I've it? started watching it with Connor, and I haven't finished it yet. We're two episodes in. I mean, if you're already, if you're at least one episode in, then you get it. You. Get I have never seen anyone watch the first episode like fully through and be like, "Yeah, I don't want to." Like, I'm not just immediately yeah. hooked and going to do this all tonight. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, it was a little. Con- I was a little confused at the end. <laughs> have you yeah. seen really? <laughs> Have you seen the show The Boys, Schlaff? No. I've mm. heard I've heard great things about The Boys, did too, you, though. Did you um, give The Boys a rating on Moist Meter? Yep. Uh, that one, I believe, was a 90. I actually think Invincible is a little bit better than The Boys, but I The Boys agree. is super good. Mm. I agree. I totally think that, agree. I think Invincible did a lot better job of, um, like, fleshing out all the characters. Yeah. I think that they, they have some really, really great character development. And also, like... They made the characters more complicated than what you would expect. Like certain oh, characters yeah. just made choices that were like, "Oh, this is like way more human of a choice than I would have expected from a, like a fucking cartoon that looks like mm-hmm. it's Teen Titans." Yeah. Um, it's like adult Teen Titans pretty much, but then also has like this crazy ride and stuff. And the and I saw this TikTok recently that was it, it showed all of the volumes of the show. Of like, uh, there was like these four books. Like the graphic novel? Yeah, yeah, it was a graphic novel. And maybe season one is like it's a thick, slim, dude. slender piece of like four massive books, which just makes me mm. so excited for for what's to come with that show. I read I read like half of it online immediately after finishing it because I wanted oh, really? to wait, but I was like, fuck. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I was just so invested in it. Uh, and then I tried reading, and then I tried reading the Walking Dead comic as well online, but it didn't—I don't know—it didn't do it for me. Um, yeah, the Walking Dead is just uh, quite literally that show is. As, I think they're on their last season, aren't they? They've been on their last season like six times. They say that every Dude, single I don't, season. Is it, will it ever end? Will it ever get better? That, no. The show I mean, it's just, is. It's sort of meta because the show itself is is somewhat of a of a zombie in its own right. <laughs> Because it's, it's literally it's just walking. Just, we just can't kill planes. it. We just won't go down. No matter yeah. how low the ratings get, it just keeps fucking going, man. Yeah, as, as they just keep... I've also heard that a lot of actors on that show have just, like, been miserable in general or something along the lines of that. Like, they just did hmm. not have a good time or something. They were just, like, ready to get the fuck out of that show. They are like, just I don't kill know, me but, already, um, please. Same guy wrote the 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 graphic novels. Uh, it's the same guy whose name I'm now blanking Kirkman. on. Robert Kirkman. Robert Kirkman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and like as I started to read the rest of Invincible too, I, it's just it felt very. I don't know. Wh- the boys felt a little one note to me when I watched it originally, and and it started to like really bother me in the second season. It was. It, I, I don't know if that was like just me, um, but Invincible felt very much more without spoiling anything like. I think the way they handled the collateral damage and a lot of like the reality and sort of the emotional reaction, like Mark had especially, without spoiling anything, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, yeah, I think it does what The Boys aims to do, but does it better. And The Boys has had two seasons to do what Invincible has done in one, so I just think it's a really good show. Yeah. That is very true um, that Invincible has done that in one season, whereas The Boys took a little bit longer. That's like fucking... Well, actually, they're both Amazon, I suppose. I thought that was just Amazon trying to be little bastards, but... Are you guys... <laughs> no, by the way... Amazon exclusive. Scott, pause real quick. Are you guys hearing any feedback from me right now? No. No, mm-hmm. no, we're not. Okay, I just I see my little green thing going all the time, and I'm like, am I making fucking noise? All right, f- sorry. No, you're good. You're sorry, good. time back in! 
<laughs> think you're back on. Has um, there been has there been a 100 on Moist Meter? Did we ask this? He got a 90. I think in the highest was 95. Yeah, I mean, no one has anything ever gotten 100. Mm -mm. So there is two. There's three things I'd give a hundred to. One okay. of them would be Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, I think, is genuinely just one of the best shows ever made. That shit is so fucking good. Even for people that only want like titties and action, you still find things to love about Breaking Bad. I think that show is a masterpiece. The second hundred I would give is to Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, wow. yeah, here yeah. we go. All right, all right. Okay, I can I can jive with that. And but how do you know that that's not just nostalgia speaking? Have you gone I've, back and watched mm -hmm. it? It, it? Okay. I've watched mm. the entire all four seasons at least like six times Damn. over the last twenty years. Man, it's so okay. good, dude. Is it? I fucking love that show. It's I perfect. Guess, I haven't seen the show in so long. Is it? Does it actually have any sort of overarching lore, or is it just the sort of one-off episodes kind of? His, his misadventures, kind of. Mainly one-offs, but there is, like, re reoccurring characters, and there is some that kind of have longer plot lines, like Dr. Zalost. But it, it, it's... fucking... Yeah. Dr. Zalost is is probably my favorite piece of television. So, bro, The I, fucking cannons, oh. the cannons that make people unhappy. It's so I was good. scared of that shit for so many years as a kid. I watched that, and I was I was scarred for a while. <laughs> my lead name is still Dr. Zalost. feeling to it, yeah. What's that... Um, Rat. What's that, like, okay, 3D me animated, like... 3D animated, like, wraith that appears in, on the planes that's just, like... Oh, you know what I'm talking about? King Ramsey's curse, return the slab. <laughs> oh, yeah, return the slab. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. That's, I think the show just is literally a perfect cartoon. Adults love it. It holds up well. It's unique. It's good for kids. It has positive messages, but it's still, like, fucking scary for kids. Like, uh, there was an episode yeah. where, like, Courage is having nightmares, and one of them's like, this claymation abortion thing and it just says you're not perfect and it's like oh my god i can't sleep now <laughs> it's Ooh. an awesome way to learn fear for children <laughs> yeah. great way to teach them when did that show run what was the runtime of the original 99 uh, to 2003 i think oh okay mm -hmm. so that was right on the cusp of the edge of you know the the, the prime sort of age 90s yeah. cartoons yeah. that's nice so what would what would the third yeah what's number three well, yeah, minecraft number three? minecraft yeah. I'm not a Minecraft fan there personally, he is again. Mm. I, but I definitely can recognize that objectively, that's the only game that has brought so many different age groups and interests together, and they all like the game, and you can pretty much do whatever you want in it, so I think as far as games go, Minecraft is about as complete as it gets. Even though I'm big not. Minecraft guy, yeah. big Minecraft guy. Yeah. I love that. I love the fact that I'm just the Minecrafter to people who have no idea who I am. And then I, I haven't uploaded a Minecraft video in like two years. It's that's fun to me. Yeah, uh, yeah it sounds pretty fun, man. Yeah, it's not, you sound <laughs> yeah. like you're really jived about that. Fuck yeah. I was trending. I was you trending on Twitter. I don't know if you guys saw me trending with like ten thousand tweets yesterday for oh, no God. fucking reason other than the fact that Dream was getting canceled yes. and his fans were like, Oh well he's at least he's not as bad as Schlatt. <laughs> We oh, should yeah. kick him off the it Dream also, it SMP. It all comes back to that, doesn't it? It all, it all comes, comes full back circle, to that. man. And I oh. haven't played on the Dream SMP in like months. I played once when Quackity asked me to for his fucking lore stream like three months ago. <laughs> and before that, like it's been it's been so long since I've logged into the fucking server. But no, I'm a scourge. Yeah, that I mean you to, love I you love Minecraft be so much, and you're such a bad guy. I, <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, don't yeah. know what to tell you. Oh, you've ruined it. You, Shlatt, you kind of I might you know what I'm you know what I'm thinking of doing? I'm thinking of coming back. Oh Twitter. Shit. Hear me, hear me <laughs> now. The, the, I'm gonna do the anger I felt behind that way you looked at the camera for just yeah. a millisecond was you gave it a I'm gonna stare. come back. I'm coming back, baby. And I'm gonna make my own lore. When I make my own lore on the Dream SMP, there will be a they will half of the people who, who enjoy the Dream SMP will be like, no, well, this isn't canon. This isn't canon, but it will be. It will absolutely be canon when I do my lore. I'm sure that there Charlie, so I'm going to get you in on it, Slime. Uh, dude, uh, you, know be, you know I will. You know I will. We're going to do some fucking lore, I'll all right? Do some lore and it for will you. be canon. 
I well, Connor, Connor, remember when Connor did that party on the Dream SMP, and I, yeah. I, ma- I went out of my way to canonically say that I did overdose from cocaine for my canonical death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can guarantee you, Shlat, that when s- someone was on the other side of that screen when you looked at the camera the first time, some there was just someone in America, multiple people at least, that just went, no. <laughs> A lot of uh, thousands of young teenage girls' hearts dropped <laughs> as I said that and gave them that look. As if a it's going to be so funny. The heart, I'm gonna fall. the heart emojis began to materialize around mm. your head as you said I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to send so many young girls to the Uh-oh. salt mines this summer. You're going to single-handedly fuel their summer, bro. You're going to give them an entire objective, like you're the raid <laughs> boss of their Twitter professional. You need something to hate, yeah. man. You need something to hate. If you don't hate, then, then how, how do you can, love? Then how can you love? Yeah. yeah. How can you love? Yeah. How can you love? Okay. Exactly. How Come can on. you love Gogi if you don't hate <laughs> Schlatt? <laughs> All right. You done? <laughs> What a mess. I'm done. I'm like a WWE <laughs> rest my case. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it does. It does. It does kind of feel like, you know, it's funny you give it 100 because to me, Minecraft almost inhibits this space with me where it feels less like a game that I can address as such and more like just a relic that perpetually exists. Like, you know, like in it's like Minecraft is Minecraft and it always will be versus like other games that I recognize as like games I interact with as like, you know, dynamic things that I feel like I can critique. Minecraft's just always going to be Minecraft. It's a very strange like space that it kind of fills yeah. in my mind. Minecraft is really strange to me because, it, you know, given our, our jobs as content creators in somewhat in the gaming sphere, <laughs> Influencers. all of us have a foot in that in some of it. Um, it, it's almost like just another space that per- is perpetually always able to create content like i'm sure that there's thousands of videos because you know how like like real life like you can Ooh. you can make content out of pretty much anything in the in the world but then minecraft exists as its own world that almost exists in the same way as just the outside world where it has this potentially infinite amount of things that you can do with it to create content I think that's what makes it 100, though, right? Because it goes above a game. Like, the way you guys are talking about it, it's already sounding like more than just a game, right? It's like an experience. Yeah, Yeah. it's like a completely full package of, like, a second life you can live. And some people do. It's like a space. It's it's, it's, it's less of a game and more just, like, a space. It's like a play space, yeah. Yeah, Um, Yeah. that's true. I feel like, for me, personally, I often get a lot of ideas for jokes or bits that are just too out there to physically ever work, and so I end up, like doing them in Minecraft or like bringing in mods to pull a gun on someone, you know what I mean? Or just yeah. like something, yeah, yeah. something like Charlie that. Charlie can't pull a gun on someone in real life, but he really wants to do it. I can't, it doesn't so work, but I hop, I hop on in the craft and I craft myself a, 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 a jail sentence. Mine, so Minecraft is uh, the equivalent good. of Charlie of saying a threat to someone on Twitter, but then saying in a video game afterwards. <laughs> 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 But so, but you don't you don't even really play Minecraft that much though. But you, nah. just, you just sort of recognize just its value. Yeah, you recognize how how valuable the man hunts are. What do you oh, think yeah. of that? What do you, you think watch of, the um, man hunts? I so I don't I, mean, I don't even you don't watch the man hunts. Uh, I what I, I don't I watch some Minecraft content just not very often. Like there's some cool this... ones I watch, and I like some of the Minecrafters that get stand over. Like they're they're good people, right? Uh, Mm -hmm. it's just, I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of the game itself, but I am a fan of some of the people. There are so many people hunting him this time though. I mean, like this time, there's there's, there's so many hunters, so many hunters, man. I I gotta know what happens. They're hunting, except this time more. Um, I think that, uh, well, another, I mean, still going off of the Minecraft garbage, we move past this in a second i've got a but, uh, i've got a fun segue i've but, got a fun um, segue here um, i think oh so i'm sorry i'm sorry to, i'm so sorry to cut you off but <laughs> i just realized out. it was the perfect time Are we, it was done? the perfect time okay. no this is just a really quick just a non sequitur completely i wrote just in the topics ad, chat. just say it i wrote in the topics <laughs> chat we were talking say it. about <laughs> it we started talking about you know minecraft versus hunters i've this got right here a question for you 
I was sort of pulling up earlier. I was looking for sort of questions <laughs> to ask on the podcast. You're and so I go on Google right and I type in kind of like questions to ask. Anything. And I end up on these questions that are for an interview, right? Like Got some it. sort of interview questions. And I scroll okay. down a little and there's a little bit some weirder ones. And since we're finally talking about kind of hunters in Minecraft, are you more of like a hunter or a gatherer? Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I consider myself more of a hunter, you know, the stereotypical quintessential mm. alpha male, you know, I'm providing for yeah. the ladies, I'm going in there, there's, you know, tits all over me in the, the, the TP, and I've got yeah. meat, right? That's me. Yeah, you're yeah. following the buffalo for months at a time. Oh, yeah, I'm on the that's trail. A lot of, that's a lot Too of time extinction. to go without the titties, though. Well, yeah. it's all, it's not just for that, it's a noble hunting and gathering, of course, you know, I'm providing that's for the true. whole village. That's what if you take a girl boss with going. you on the hunt? If you take a girl boss with you, then you can have titties that's, and bison. That's at the ridiculous. Same time. This is this is for the hunters, the big men. We take the buffalo. Okay. You see, so you see, that's like fine. a bushel, like a bushel on the way. Like you got a big bison in front of you, but you got like a nice like bushel to your right. Like would you, <laughs> would you like what? Stop? what is, <laughs> a bushel is not a with berries. <laughs> There's berries. I mean, like, well, like, would you pick a couple? No. Or are you, you know? <laughs> no. I'd be looked you at as even a, dare. Yeah, I'd be effeminate if I didn't. Imagine me taking Would that be. back to my tribe. They're like, well, where's the meat? All we have is this. <laughs> well, oh, nice what, is the, what is the girl <laughs> no. boss going to think, man? God. Nice fucking berries, Charlie. God, what is, it, what is this? Minecraft versus five gatherers? Like, come on. It just doesn't. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Come uh, on. So anyway, that was my segue. Um, yeah, I got a question. <laughs> Would you rather have uh, no physical pain or no mental pain? Ooh. I'd absolutely Whoa. choose physical. I think you can do so much more with no physical pain. A hundred percent. I think this depends on whether or not you you can still die. Oh, <laughs> <No> true. <mental. laughs> like, like, can I... <laughs> physical pain definitely can serves just, a like, very get, important purpose in letting you know that that If I get that shot that 50 happening. times, you know... I. Sure, I don't feel it, but I might be. I might die from that. Yeah, you know? no so physical I'm saying, pain. And then I think I'm. And then no mental pain is like okay. So you're like a sociopath. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, just because you can't feel yourself, if you try to like skip yourself like a rock, doesn't mean you should. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you can, st that's a very important stipulation. Is if you can still die, It'd be pretty worthless to <laughs> not feel pain if you still suffer the consequences. It's yeah, like hot, like hot true. coals, and we like a say, snake bites you. You can just bite it back, right? We, but like if, other yeah. than that. But if we were to say that the the no pain equals no die, then mm -hmm. I feel like at a certain point you'd really be regretting not doing the mental thing because then if you're just like no millions of no years game, later man. and you're just well, like so, so fucked in the head. Yeah, let's put a stipulation. You you can only die of old age. Oh, Which is okay. it going to be? Oh, okay. I'm taking no physical pain. Same. Absolutely, wait, 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 there's a lot of the, shit I would do. Does the no, the the dying of old age does it apply to both or is it just is just the physical pain one? So you oh, can, so <laughs> so I, I'm asking <laughs> is the is the option is here a either is a either, either like feel 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 <laughs> feel just gray always or be immortal? Is that like are these the are these the choices you're presenting or is it like both? I don't know. I don't know, man. You seem like really struggling know. right now. Are you okay? I, mean, like, I didn't think this through. Well, I didn't you think have this another. Through. I mean, you have another. Like, would you rather? That's much yeah, better so, than this. Hey, you really decided would you, to I got one. I got one. Would you rather have unlimited bacon? <laughs> What's so funny? No, it's, I'm fine. W Charlie, would you rather have un? Why are you laughing? I'm not. La I didn't say. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Would you rather have unlimited? <laughs> Charlie, stop! I'm not, stop you're ruining his. You gotta stop laughing. I d I'm not. La I'm just trying to listen. Would you I'm rather? I'm very active listener. So. <laughs> I'm gonna make it go to the corner. Wait. Would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more video games? <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, it's just it's it's just my, mic, it's my, my mic is pop. My mic's popping. You're you're picking something up, Charlie. Unlimited bacon, but no more video games. I'm sweating. Or, I start sweating. Or, <laughs> or would you rather have games, unlimited games, but no ga no games? <laughs> so wait, the choice the choices are unlimited have, bacon and. Uh, and 
Unlimited <laughs> bacon. Charlie, come. Slimesicle, get I'm back here. Sit back down in the fucking chair. Sit back down in the fucking chair. Sit back down in the fucking chair. Charlie, you need to hear Would this. Would you rather have unlimited bacon, mm. but no more video games, <laughs> or unlimited <laughs> games? You get unlimited games. <laughs> <laughs> and no games. Yeah, this is a tricky one, right? This is, wow, this is a conundrum. On one hand, it's, you know, this is unlimited bacon and no games, but then there's also yeah. games and no games. Unlimited games. Games, unlimited a games. state of flux, if you will. Yeah, it's a constant uh, dichotomous situation here. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, What's it going to be? Well, is it unlimited good bacon? <laughs> Like quality bacon? Or are we talking like microwave? I'm shit? I'm assuming you get oh, to I choose. Have you can have whatever apple kind of bacon smoked. you want. Oh, oh wow, get is... applewood bacon. You can get Canadian Ooh. bacon if you want, which is really just ham. And I learned that from my Carly. So, and if I choose the blue pill, which is unlimited games and no games, <laughs> what does that what does that really entail? What do I get? Somebody's gonna make a you get un you get <laughs> unlimited games, but there's also no games. <laughs> So what is, it's, it's, it's like a double negative, right? Like, what am I getting? You get unlimited games, though. That's what you're getting. No, no. But, uh, you can't tell me you're not getting unlimited games. That's the fucking first part of the deal. Well, then what's the, the stipulation? The stipulation to unlimited games is that there are no games. So I can have unlimited games of something that doesn't exist. <laughs> no, no. Charlie, shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is, What's it gonna be? Uh, this is fucking tough. I get. I think in the first situation, at least there's like a net gain. In the there second, isn't, yeah. yeah. In the second one, I'm just getting. But there's no games. <laughs> yeah, but there's no, there's no, no games game. in the second one <laughs> either. No We're in games. fucking post apocalypse. But you have unlimited games. <laughs> of nothing. But you have unlimited games. <laughs> uh. I, I, you're right. I didn't even think about it correctly. Just give me unlimited games and, and no games or whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Fuck it. I'll take it. I had really you picked the right option. Did, I'm oh, very happy with with your with your choice here. There was a lot of thinking that had to go into that conclusion, though. Yeah, that is a thing. Yeah. That is a thinker right there. It's Charlie. a thinker. It it's a brain. Charlie that's down. a that's a brain pop question. I need Tim and Moby to help me out. Yeah, <gasps> Moby. Moby huge. Moby huge. Moby, Moby huge. Big, Maybe Moby that's huge. where it comes from. Oh, that's probably what it is. You ever watch oh. those brain pop videos? No, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Dude, I love I'm brain. They're like the no, no, no. You got it. It's the it's the oh my God. human guy. And the and the orange robot, and they tell you about like crops and stuff. Yeah, and, uh, you never. The you teacher got... turns the lights off in the classroom. The smart board projector whirs, uh -huh. and then the I fucking we're gonna brain watch a pop brain comes pop on. About this. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And the robot, you know, occasionally cut the facts with a little bit of funnies, and he's like beeping. Yeah. He's like lighting up green. Yeah, yeah. huge cock on that fucker. Huge cock, mm. veins, mm -hmm. three feet. Oh yeah, girth. Yeah. Um. Speaking of veins and cock, what? Uh, Charlie Moist, mm. critical. Um, which Dark Souls boss would you say has the largest cock? Ooh, of the whole series? Are we including wow. Bloodborne and Demon Souls and Sekido? Uh, Get them I'd all probably, in there. I'd probably just include uh, Demon Souls, because that feels okay. more in thematically similar. Unless you have a really, really strong opinion. Yeah, like out, like in, oh, in Bloodborne or like in... Like if you really want to say yes, the cleric beast has a fat. You seem like we sort of a Demon you. Souls kind of a Demon's Games man. Oh, I so, this is my favorite series. So I just did a Soulsborne marathon over the last like couple months, just going hundred percent bosses. I love those games. Yeah, I'd say probably the Orphan of Coast if we're including Bloodborne. Are you? F that's the fucking like light bulb alien, right? That's that one, or He's, is that a? No, you're thinking of uh, the emissary. That's that's like the the alien guy. Now, oh yeah, I am. Yeah. Oh wow, this is uh, this is, this is tremendously he, awful. Do you think that he's carrying his cock with him? Or yeah. So that's that's the impression I got, right? Because he like his weapon is like very phallic. It's very like testicle e. Yeah. So, oh wow. And then he transforms. He he gets like mega zorded or. Yeah, he ordered oh, that man. shit off Master Cock. I can. That's they're, they're, they're That's a Master Cock product. exclusive, yeah. right that there. That is a Master yeah, they Cock. They made right that. There. They made that for him. So yep. I will Orphan say, cock. I will say that I I am a big fan of the of the 
Dark Souls, Demon Souls series, but a lot of them I never really had. I only had a PlayStation Two, and then I never had another PlayStation until later. So I've started playing stuff like um, I've been playing. I played the Demon Souls remastered. I played through that all the way. I've started Bloodborne recently, and then I also got all of the Dark Souls games onto my PS Five, and I've been trying to go through them all. But I, I is this Orphan of Coast? Is this later on in Bloodborne? Because I'm very, I'm very, very early in it. He I'd is say. the last boss of the DLC. So I I tried to keep track of like all the deaths. And I, I'm fucking nasty at those games. I'm, I'm a filthy greaseball there. I'm pretty good. Orphan of Coast took me 27 tries. Second place for second hardest boss across all the games was, I think, 18 tries. And that was Dark Souls wow. 3. So he's, the, like, nameless. so he's the hardest boss yeah. that you've ever had yeah. to fight. Yeah, he really. What nutty. made him so hard? That fucking his cock. Yeah, that his big, dick, his big fat cock. Unironically, yeah. that dick slinging weapon is nuts. That hitbox is crazy, and he like drags it yeah. on the ground too, so you never really know where the hitbox Whoa, is. Whoa, yeah, where it's he's tough. gonna go. Mm. Yeah, Classic I was technique. having I was having a lot of trouble recently because I was playing through Dark Souls three again. I was having a lot of trouble with, um, the 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 twins the the twin princes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Prince Lothric and his yeah. and his big brother. Until yeah, I and the realized, big hammer. Well, yeah. What are their cocks like? Probably fat. Yeah. Yeah. And t- I was having a lot of trouble because I because he's got this this giant sword thing or the magic thing where it's just this huge fucking line of light, and I just huge. couldn't figure. I was trying because he would t- he does this thing where he teleports to different parts, and then you got to figure it. out where he is. So he's like he teleports, and you're like, where the fuck is he? And then he's shooting something oh, crazy at you. Yeah, shooting, shooting. Yeah. Yeah. He's, that was like a that was like a kind of gimmick starts. one though I remember because you kill one of them and then the other one just like yeah. falls over right and it, lets it, you it just took kill me him. like it took me like fifteen tries though until I figured out like that one dodge thing but that's why I love those games because once you win it's like this it feels rush. good it's like this dopamine mm. hit that's like mm, mm. might as well be dopamine. doing opiates right now. <laughs> it's fantastic you if, <laughs> if you haven't played through all of them man you're in for a treat. Yeah, no. Might I as well be sitting on a Moby huge right <laughs> about now. Might as yeah. well. I've got a I those still apes. I still haven't played Dark Souls One. Got to go through that. Got a. I think I, I when I was younger, I tried to play Dark Souls Two, but I was too I was too young for it. I hadn't grown into it yet, so I like played it for a little bit. And then I was like, I don't know what this is and don't understand it, so I'm gonna stop yeah. for ten years. <laughs> yeah, that's um, fair. But yeah, that's. <laughs> What's your I'm favorite? Sorry. I'm sorry, What's your favorite Schlatt. game or cock? Go for it. I mean, me. I I mean, uh, this is to this is to the the uh, the moist man, but also in to my you, just favorite favorite one of them of the souls in, born. In my experience, I would probably say that the the great wood tree probably has a really really long and slender True. cock. True. That it just it's like it'll just mm. come out and just shoot out and stand into the sky or something. Vanny vine. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's good. No, well, it's a tree. Have you played that Dark Souls 3? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You walk oh, yeah, yeah, you walk in that big fog wall, uh, and then there's like a bunch it's of little guys. It's a tree guys, that and has like, like a fucking shit around. demon thing inside yeah. of it. It's like living and then you in it. Fall through yeah. the floor. Yeah. Pumps you full of xylem and phloem. Chlorophyll. I haven't heard the word phloem in a long, long time. I don't think is, I've ever heard the word That is the first phloem. for me as well. It's been a while. Is, like, phloem, the word phloem actually, like, I heard, like, a lock break open and, like, a, a fucking core memory unlocked when you Welcome said phloem. Welcome back to seventh grade biology I just, class, like, man. My eyes just glazed wait, 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 over wait, wait. and I had 60 phloem, phloem ads play it, in front of me all phloem at Phloem is like the little, almost sand-like particles. It, like the little beads, yes. like, yeah. right? They're they like Travel, they beads. travel through the through Whoa. the vesicles of the tree. Wait. Yeah, phloem. No, we're, okay, we're talking about we're definitely talking about different things. We're definitely talking about different things. I'm talking about the the like the the product for children phloem, not like the not like the the tree. You're not talking about the tree, the parts of the tree. They don't put they phloem comes from trees. Hang on. Yes. What the fuck are you talking about? Google Google P H L O E M. How about how about you Google F L O A M. That's what I. Phloem. Function. 
the vascular tissue in plants that conducts sugars oh. and other so metabolic products downward from totally the leaves. What the fuck? Is... You thought I was talking about the fucking I'm... children's <laughs> toy yeah. flow? Yeah. The children's toy phloem. Why would, well, like why the would okay. Nickelodeon phloem originally right. called bubble gack, I... a compound composed bubble of gack. microbeat Can I just a foam-like ask something? substance. Can I just ask something? Why would Charlie get so nostalgic, Schlatt, over a vascular tissue in plants that conduct sugars. <laughs> I, I remember when I was in the tree among the sap. Like, what the fuck did you think I was talking about? Oh, I man. was just, I thought I had just found someone who was equally Ooh. as interested Ooh, in I trees as I was. Chlorophyll and the cell wall. Well, <laughs> you should be Come on, man. What You're up? making you? fun of me now. You're making fun of my oh, passion. Oh, God, my chloroplast slid up when you mentioned that. It's, it's not my fault I like wood, okay? Boom. <laughs> Bringing it all the way back around, baby. Bringing it all the way back around. Um, but I suppose we're 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 starting to reach towards the the end of our our, our time here. But <laughs> no. Charlie of the Moist Variety, um, where can people find you online? Yeah, well, I really appreciate you having me on. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I do a bunch of different shit under stupid names. YouTube, it's Penguin Z Zero. Twitch, it's Moist critical with a one and misspelled and alternating caps. It's real dumb shit. Uh, you could probably just find it by typing in moist, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's really about he it. He owns the word moist, ladies and germs. Yeah. Are there as well? Word. Are there any uh, any particular uh, soggy or wet projects you're working on right now that you want to plug? Anything in particular you want to shout out? Maybe that you're passionate about. I'm doing an OSU tournament tomorrow for our music, the Gentleman, like 2019 guy and shit. Hmm. That's about it. Well, though. it will have already happened. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and, it, and guys, it was really, really cool. I it was fun. It was they fun. Hit yeah, every I can, beat. I can attest to every it. beat. <laughs> yeah, that's about All it. Right, I really well. appreciate it, boys. Yeah. Well, hey, thank, thank you, you so for much. sogging up the Sammy. Yeah. Thanks you know? so much for coming mm. on. Um, you moist onion critical, piece of shit. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> fuck onions. He's the onion. He's the onion of the sandwich. Catch you next time. <laughs> Don't know how to add a podcast. Bye, everyone. Yeah.